Hello guys, my name is Kiki and in this video I am attempting to repair this heating thermostat which kind of works but it has some issues with the LCD some pixels are missing and not showing up at all and things like this let's see if I can fix it so let me plug it in let me show you what it exactly does, what is the problem so you can see it's turning on you can see some pixels here and there if I press on the button, certain pixels are showing up. You can see here it's maybe off or something like this. But there is definitely some issue with the LCD. So let's take it apart and let's see if we can fix it. So now it's being separated. This is definitely the high voltage side. There is a transformator in it, a relay, capacitor, and so on. And this is the low voltage part. Let's see this section because definitely the LCD, the LCD is mounted on this one. So I will just put this apart away. So I will put it under the microscope and hopefully we can find something so here it is let's start from this side this is most probably the connector for the touch screen i assume this is a capacitor as a, which works as a battery to store the to store the program in the eprom for example voltage regulator there is a connector and this definitely looks like somebody else working already on this look at this this joint here and also these joints are some crap on the pcb and also like this diode it looks like it does not really fit here Wow, and look at this. This looks pretty bad here. I'm 100% sure that somebody was already working on this area. This looks like factory. On this side also. And this one. But this looks really bad here. And also look at this mess. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Yes, yeah, somebody was already touching up these joints and also, also like this here. And this mess here over here, I have to clean this up. Let's see if these joints are good or not. And it definitely looks to me like this is a bridge here. Let's measure it with the multimeter. Multimeter in continuity mode. And look at this. These two pins are shorted here. This is solder here. Then let's go further. Oh, look at this. This pin is moving good good this is also slightly moving oh look at this i almost broke it away and these are also slightly moving so we definitely have to touch up correctly this the joints and we have to clean up this area here And as I see, these wires are going to the other side. Maybe these are connected to the 
for the LCD directly, and this is our only shoe. So let's see. I will clean this up with the soldering iron. I will add flux here. As I see, this will be too big for here. Look at this, no, not the joint is definitely visible. I have to use a smaller tip. Okay, there is a trace here, so they are supposed to connect together, so then this is fine. See if your joints are better now. Okay, so now I'm quite convinced that all these pins are nicely connected. So let's now clean up this mess with isopropyl alcohol and let's hope there is no corrosion here in this area. Okay, so I cleaned up this mess the best I could. Now I will put it together and let's see, maybe it works. Maybe this was the only problem. Because I, I can really imagine that these, these points here are going to the, to the LCD itself. And if the pins were not con uh, connected so they are perfectly, this could cause these contact issues. So let's see, let's put it together. I only put back this. I don't need the frame and anything like this. And now let's plug it in and let's see. And still not good. Then maybe we should really separate the, the LCD from the PCB. But I'm afraid there are these like these finger joints, these pads, which are just contacting. And basically, the only thing I can do with that is cleaning it up and hoping that, for example, some flux from the other side went into the pins and there is no connection. So let's see, let's unplug it. Let's give it another go. As I see, I have to unbend all these pins to separate the, the LCD. This is a metal frame, which is holding everything together. There are these two cables, black and red, for the backlight, backlight LEDs. 
Okay, the frame is separating. This is just a touch screen. Oh, and yes, this is what I'm afraid. There are these connection points only. And I cannot really see anything here. Really the only thing I can do is clean up these pads here on both sides with isopropyl alcohol and then do the same here and then hoping that it works. Let's do this. Let's see if I'm just holding it down, connecting it together. And now I plug it in. Look at this, if I press on it hard, then it's coming up off. Okay, I cannot press it now because there is no touch screen is not connected now. But if I press on it hard, it's coming on. But I have to press super hard. So let's see if I can put it back together, pressing hard on it and pulling it down with the black metal frame. Let's see. I try to hold the LCD super tight onto the PCB, but those pins are so hard to bend that I'm not 100% sure that it worked out. Let's see. Look at this, it works, it works. The touch does not work now. Maybe I wrongly connected it. Let's see, I disconnect it. Ah, okay, I did not push, press it in well enough. No, it should work, I hope. 
Let's pull here to my gun. And I can already see all the digits. And off. And now on. 28.6 degrees. Let's go to the menu. I have no idea how it works, to be honest. The relay is clicking at the back, so I assume it works. This 28.6 is most probably measured with, the, with this R RTC. Let's see if I touch it. Yeah, you can see it's heating up. So if I plus plus, it goes up like five degrees. Yeah, I think it works. I have, as I told, I have no idea how it works, but the display is now definitely fixed. Okay, guys, so I managed to fix the LCD. No, it works perfectly fine. Most probably the only problem was that steel frame was not holding strong enough the LCD pins basically onto the PCB connection points and then due to reason it was not making a good contact it wasn't working perfectly but no it works fine so that's all for this video I hope you found it helpful if yes please leave a thumbs up and I hope I see you next time bye